We do all German style lagers and everything has to be brewed to the Rhein Heinzgebot. So it has to be brewed to that German purity law of 1516. Um, it said that you can only use malt, water, hops, and yeast. That's it. So we don't, we don't add any kind of adjuncts. There's no corn, there's no rice. Since we're a German style brewery, we get all our malt from Germany. This is the barley grain. This is from Bamberg, it's a very small town, very nice area, and I actually went to the malt, malt house back in early October, and they make the very best malt in the world. Everything's modified perfectly, and they, they have very high standards. So when we get it in, we know that we're getting the best quality beer that we can make. That's why you can get red ales, you can get ambers and browns and uh, stouts and porters and everything else. It's all about how the grain was modified and how it was kilned. And then the hops that I use will add something else. So hops generally will give you citrus or a pine note or evergreen or spice. And uh, it's all about that, the hop that you pick. These are the Herzbrucker hops. Um, this is what we kind of call our house hop uh, because we use it in almost every recipe that we have. Hops start out as a giant plant. Uh, it's a weed, technically. It's actually part of the cannabis family. But instead of THC, they have the lupulin gland. The lupulin gland is what creates the bitterness or flavor and aroma. And different hop oils create different flavors. So it's all about uh, picking out the right one for the right beer. And then also another factor that's, that's a big part of the, the brewing process is, is the yeast. So if I don't filter something, you'll get some of that yeast character, which can also give you kind of a funky and, and uh, spicy note to it, uh, depending on the yeast. But uh, each one of those little bits, those components, will add uh, a different flavor to each beer. So really it is as much a science as an art um, when you're putting together a recipe.